Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today it's one of those cases where it's better late than never, I hope. Um, there are some cases where that doesn't apply, but let's say this one isn't. Uh, we are reviewing the EDC Pocket Armor by Pop Off Leather. Um, this was sent to me four scores and ten years ago, probably now. Oh, but seriously, it's been months. Like, I lost my voice and stuff, and you know, by the time I got out of here to do it, yeah, sorry guys. I'm not usually that bad. Um, so, yeah, so um, Pop Off, they contacted me and asked me if I would like to review one of their products, and I thought, well, why not? You know, I had a look at their website, it's all made in Canada from American leather, so I thought, you know, smallish business. Well, it's still technically a small business, but it's not tiny business. So a small business that's can that's Canadian. Well, you can get that word wrong when you stutter. That's Canadian owned and run, and um, they make all their stuff by hand. I thought, why not? That's awesome. Let's give it a go. So here we are. Let's give it a go. All right, guys. So here we are. We've got the uh, pop off leather ADC pocket armor uh, right in front of us. So you can see. That it is a EDC pocket armor. I don't know. What am I supposed to say? I don't review these things always. Now, but in all seriousness, um, it's basically like a little EDC carry pouch. Uh, it is on the smaller side, so if you do happen to carry it around like a crocodile Dundee style knife, call that a knife, this is a knife, yeah, it's not really going to fit inside, so I'd probably look elsewhere. I actually love this knife. I bash wood with it all the time. It's so bloody good. Um, so, yeah. Um, but it does fit in, like, you know, some of your smaller items that you might want to EDC, if you have, like, a nice, fancy, uh, copper torch, or even if it's not, oh, there goes my, half my desk, even if you don't have a nice, fancy copper torch, um, you know, you just got a knife that you want to carry, and you don't want it to get scratched and gored up and stuff, throw it inside here. So, inside mine right now, I've got this, uh, little Zenmax multi, multi tool. It fits in uh, no trouble whatsoever. You see, you can push down the sides. That's pretty cool. Um, I did kind of stretch mine out using this giant ass Leatherman. No, not Leatherman. What are these? These are the Victinox. Um, this one is from Switzerland. So, yes. Um, this is like the extreme case of fitting in something big into this. Look at how big it is. So, it does fit this Victinox in there, but it does stretch it out quite a bit, as you can see. Um, this is made in Canada, this uh, EDC Pocket Armor, and it is all hand-stitched with leather. So it's not really going to come apart, you know, you're never really going to have an issue. But yeah, um, so you probably can fit in big things like this, and the leather will stretch before anything breaks. Uh, Pop-Off do give you a lifetime warranty uh, on their items, but obviously if you abuse it, you know, like don't abuse it and then, you know, expect a refund, because that's a little bit far-fetched. This is a photo time for EDC Pocket Dump. So I'll tell you guys the um, specs. So it's 34 US dollars. Um, it's hand stitched and made in Canada. You can either get it hand stitched or you can get it um, polyester sewn with a machine. I don't know which one's stronger. I'm not really that good at sewing. But um, I'd personally probably go for hand stitched because I like the stitching is a little bit wider apart. That's what I noticed between the polyester. But I could be completely wrong. Uh, it's made from USA Halloween Chrome XL full grain leather. Um, you got to go online and read about that, but that's basically a chemical treatment that is given to the uh, Halloween leather. Um, so as I said, you got your choice of hand sewing, or so it's hand sewing with tiger thread, or machine sewing with polyester. Um, so you've also got your lifetime guarantee, which I've already said. And the pocket armor itself is 4.25 inches in length and 2.25 inches in width. So um, 10.79 centimeters long and 5.715 centimeters in diameter, which is pretty hard for me to understand because I don't do non-metric. Uh, also, I did notice on their website, they do offer a free engraving. You can engrave uh, 15 letters into this thing. And um, yeah, so yeah, I think, you know, for the price, it is pretty cool because it is all hand sewn and handmade. And you are supporting North American jobs. And yeah, so, you know, as a country, Australia right now, we don't really have that much manufacturing left. And it's kind of a shame to see it all go away because, you know, there was a lot of cars that we made here. 
So if you can support local, support local guys. Thumbs up to support local. All right, guys. So the first thing that you notice when you open the uh, pop off leather ADC armor package is the smell. This leather smell smells so good. Like it's hard to explain. It's like you know the new car smell. It just smells awesome. You don't know why, but it just smells good. And you know, having a look at it, it is uh, what do they call it? They call it full grain leather. Um, you know, it does have a few impurities here, but our pop off leather I say that that's the way that they like their leather to look. And I understand. Everything looks perfectly fine here. It's very nice, very nice to touch and very smooth to, to feel. So yeah, um, I'll even give it a whiff. Ah, a few months on and it still smells like leather. That's how you know it's quality. Uh, and yeah, so basically we'll move on now. Besides me trying to shill this for uh, pop-off leather, we'll just try a few things what we can fit inside here. Um, I'll also leave a uh, little cutout here so you can see what you can fit inside. Uh, pop-off leather, I've already tested it with a few different knives and stuff. Um, it's basically, it's made to fit in up to four items. Those four items are going to be pretty small. But, eh, you know, not many people would carry around such a big EDC in their pockets anyway. Um, I'll pull out what I've got in here now. So, I basically, I just dumped my EDC from my bag. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I do carry around an EDC bag. Um, these are two lights that stay in my EDC bag. And I also keep this Gerber dime in there. And I may or may not sometimes carry a knife on me, even though it is could be illegal in this country. So that one is a maybe. That could be just a knife I found at home. So basically, I can fit in my custom-made EDC pretty sweet, and uh, that'll keep it from getting scratched. But my custom-made EDC is not a $100,000 EDC like what some people carry around. Um, and it goes in and it comes out very easy, like so. If you want to carry around more, you can easily fit in something like this little lumen top tool, little Gerber dime. They'll fit in easy. I swear they will. Uh, they shouldn't scratch each other, but they are a bit close. But that should be pretty sweet. We'll let it focus there. We'll throw on a pen. And there you have it. You have a light. You have a mini a mini tool and a uh, pen It's pretty much all you need probably put a piece of paper in there too and then you're set so yeah so you can fit in you know like quite a bit even though it is on the smaller side um it does stretch out when you get it it'll be even tighter than what it looks like now but you can stretch it out and get bigger stuff in there um those of you that have been watching the channel for a while know that i do love these smaller lights to edc i don't like carrying around 18650 lights so here's a full fire tg06 i just built fits in like so with plenty of room left you can see the tail cap there can you see it yeah so that fits in no problems whatsoever so you can fit your uh, EDC knife or or torch in there without a problem actually one more thing I'm pretty much wrapping up the video but this is a bigger size knife let's give this uh, Fura Gear Y Star knife a uh, go fit it in there to me that fits perfect and that is a pretty big knife. If you compare that to the uh, little Kershaw here, you can see that that knife is a lot bigger and that's still sitting in the pouch. Pretty good. So cool. Anyways, guys, um, I'd like to thank Pop Off Leather for sending me the EDC pouch. I know I took my time. Sorry about that. But yeah, now it's done. Um, and, you know, if you're out there looking for an EDC or a wallet or something, uh, give Pop Off Leather uh check uh, check them out i'll leave their link in the description below they are made in canada from american leather so um keep that in mind that it's homegrown if you're from that area um and as always guys i hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and thanks for watching